Hey there everyone, Ozzy Avery's here. For my first video I thought I'd do a bit of an Avery tour. So this is the Avery. It's Colourbond which I bought online from Bunnings Warehouse website. It's a flat pack. You can find this Avery or similar ones by going to www.bunnings.com.au and typing in Avery to the site search bar. This one's about 3 meters by 2.5 by 2 meters high. <clears throat> In the Avery at the moment I have around 14 birds, which is pretty cool because it's not too crowded. Let's see if I can get a bit of a visual. It's not too crowded. All the species I've picked get together really well. There's a dove there. Let's go in. Alright. So this is it. On the floor, I have a concrete base with paving sand on it which I've done about three centimeters thick. I really like the sand because it's, it acts like a natural grip for the birds. And it's good for the birds not to be walking on hard surfaces like concrete all the time and concrete's really cold. And I think it looks pretty good too. At the moment I have these three terracotta pots, pot plant water dish things, which, are, which I use for seed, a water bath, and one for anything else. At the moment it has termites in it, um, but I also use it for veggies and fruit and grass seeds and all that nice happy stuff. Um, I also have a couple of rocks in here, if you can see them. Um, and a tree stump, I don't know if you can see that, which I use to uh, put grass stalks in. I also have a nice fern which the doves love to nest in and the quails love to mess around on. I made this little platform thingy-majig, which I use to put food and veggies and anything I don't want the quails to eat but I want the finches or parrots or doves to eat so it's not on the floor so the quails can't get up on it. Um, I'm found this branch which is cool because it has like little sticks on it like a ladder because the burks don't like to fly down all the time. Uh, lots of gum and eucalyptus branches. I made this little cylinder which I have stuffed full of grass and straw and coconut fibers which is like nesting material and all that nice happy stuff. Going up level, I put this shelf in when I first got the Avery when I was using it for budgies for budgie nest box. Um, I also use it to hang the water, which is a nests and seed dishes and all that stuff. There's Abby. Dull. Little finches. Squiz down there. Um, I've also I made all these finch nests, which I found really successful. <clears throat> I just make a cylinder out of wire sheeting, and I've attached these ones through the roof paneling with. Um, 
shoelace type material. I also use that to stick some branches in. Um, yeah, so that's it really. The birds are a bit mucky today because the butcher birds are around and they don't, they're not in a very good mood. Um, also over there is the quail nest, which I've actually, they won't run away. To make the quail nest, I've actually used a plastic container -y, I think I was originally used for salad, which I've put in here with some nesting stuff. And that just stops the eggs getting wet, um, which will kill them most likely. And I've put this stick here so Quiz Squiz can have a bit of privacy when she's nesting. Usually I would have a little roof or a panel near it so she doesn't get freaked out, but I don't have that at the moment. Just to have a little look from this angle. Here's some of my nests. Let's see if there's any eggs in there. Looks like there's one egg in there. That's a ruddy's nest, which actually was the old starfinch nest. Starfinch's nest there, and now the ruddies are at the back. I just put these in because I got them for free, so I thought I'd check them out. Nobody seems to like them. And that's what I'm using as the bird nest. I also have not many toys because the finches don't really pay attention to them much. And I also have this non-fraying rope which I got from Bunnings. Which is good because it's easy to clean when it gets dirty. And yeah, that's it guys. Sorry if I didn't talk about everything there is to talk about. Um, but please subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram, Aussie.Averys, for more updates and photos and videos of the birds. Thanks, guys.